How's it going everyone? This is Dr. Hefei playing some more Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. And last time we killed off all the ghouls in the cult lands and uh, did some looting. We got quite a few pieces of scrap. We got some more weapon parts. We're, we're grooving, we're grooving. Didn't find anything else too exciting. So that's why we're starting over here. We're gonna travel to the Crow Land. But before we go there, I realized we we're level 43. So let's see what mutations we can get. I think it's K. No, that's a squad. Well, we'll click over to here. So we got eight points for Magnus. Could save up for double crit, crit chance. But I do like just this ability to block bullets. And one third of the time you're blocking bullets. You're blocking damage, which is nice. Do you want Skull Splitter? It may be better than the run and gun, possibly. Potentially, but movement is super useful like The ability to reposition and to run up on enemies is Is really nice. So we're gonna grab this Might as well We'll enjoy him. Whoa, he's he's, he's on fire, bro. You you okay there? He doesn't look okay So for Borman we're saving up to either get a passive or get Plus one health. We already have so much health here. I don't know if plus one's gonna... I mean, one health is always useful. Let's let's not get it twisted. But I'm not sure if it's gonna be as good as being able to, you know, block out a puff of smoke so that you don't get shot a second time or to just get extra weapon range. Both these are pretty good. So let's grab the stone skin. I still like hog rush. It does allow you to like stealthily kill people. But there may be a time when we're like, yo, actually we need to have some stone skin. And for her, we got five points. What can we do? More, more sh crit chance from shooting from high ground. It's pretty nice. Firing twice is pretty nice. More health is also pretty nice. But I mean, we're not gonna get the Joker, so. Nothing for you, sorry. Sorry, Selma. So now that we looked at mutations, let's head on to bird wearing a hat. Everyone loves birds wearing hats. There's probably a subreddit for that. Like if we got, they got birds with arms, they probably got birds with hats. The Grog Den? Yo, weren't they talking about that's this? Yeah, that's Grog, guaranteed, up ahead. Mm, smells good, real good. Dude, Prip is gonna be so happy. We found like a freaking Land of Grog. Let's. What does it say? Drinking seems to have been an important part of life. Also to the ancients. Yeah, that's true. They collected their drinks in small flasks, sometimes made of glass. Once in a while, it's possible to find one that is still unopened? Question mark? Dude, the, the symbol looks like a giant keg. In which case, everyone at the Ark is going to be partying. This place. He called it the Grog Den. The ancients used to brew magic grog here, he said. <laughs> I could use a little grog right now. Yeah, can't we all, friend? Can't we all? You know, I got some beers in the fridge. Oh, man. I don't, you know, drink a lot. And I don't drink often. But when I do have a drink, it's, it's good. It's tasty. These are some hazy IPAs from a local brewery. And they got, it's like a, so the... It's called Pina Colada Socks and Sandals, and it's it's delicious. It's got like the bitterness of the hops, but the sweetness of whatever else they added to it. Mm, tasty. I'm like walking around. Oh, it's robot time. You know, if it's robot time, maybe we bring out uh, Pharaoh instead, instead of Selma. Got a hidden grog making empire here. Not bad. Oh no, that's a med bot. That's a freaking med bot. Okay, med bot. You're a jerk. We all know that. Med bot, don't come over here. Don't come over here. Don't be such a jerk. I'm just trying to walk around here. Yeah, let's see who's over here. Give me more of that grog. I want to party till my head goes boom. Enough of that grog. We need to baptize the zone with old man fire. We need to make more fire bombs now. We've got a mountain of fire bombs over there. 
You want to make more? I want to burn it all. Not some. Oh, burn it all. Okay. So we got some pyro boys. Is everyone here a pyro boy? No, not everyone. There's one hunter up here. Like this hunter... This hunter looks like we could do our little hog rush strategy. Knock him down. Fill him full of lead from the silenced weapons. Grab ourselves some scrap as we're walking on by. Because why not? And then we got a bunch of pyro boys downtown. Grabbing some more scrap. So we could put on our anti-pyro vests. Ah, paper. Don't see much of that anymore. Where's paper? Where where are you talking about? I don't see any paper in this room at all. It looks like a freaking tap room actually. Oh, there's another hunter. Okay, well maybe we can't stealthily kill all the hunters. Oh boy. F off. Go away, sir. Don't see us. We're invisible. Uh, fish miss bill. Um, organically and ethically oriented microbrewery with 80s post-punk vibe. Happy guppy. Bog blocker brown stout. Anti-social theatric gore. Lactose free. Vegan way peanuts. Okay. Sure. Chief. Priya, Pyra. Super Chief Pyromancer. Oh, we That's gotta get our uh, hands on a little bit of loot ahead of time. What's this bad boy? Ooh. Nine damage, ten crit, four ammo, range 14. A rapid fire enclave laser weapon? Wait. The enclave? No. This game is becoming like Fallout. Can destroy cover though. I like the sound of that. Let's see, so we have our long range gun. We have the Rambino. I like this boomstick though. I like the boomstick. I like the gaper. Um, do we get rid of the gaper? The knockback is so cool though. Maybe we get rid of the slinger. Give her the enclave weapon. Now she has like two really good weapons. Super Rambino. Hmm. Cause it's basically like a boomstick, but it can destroy cover. And it has good range on it too. We haven't even upgraded it yet. Um, do 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 do. It's like, what do we what do we give her instead? Like a boomstick? This gun's already better than a boomstick. Give him the Elysium gun. What, is he gonna have two boomsticks? That doesn't make any sense. I guess we give her the boomstick. I don't know. I don't know, it's hard to know. Okay, maybe we hog rush down this dude. He's freaking walking around, being an annoying jerk. So we have two what looks like pyro boys. Got the scrap. Two pyro boys. Chief Pyromancer. Listen to me. Don't like those Molotovs near the grog. We'll all go kaboom. Yeah, yeah, cool. Taste the fumes, cool. Gonna light the flame to make the phoenix burn. Yeah. I'm telling you, keep the fires in your pants, or I'll smash your brains in. I tell them I don't work with pyro ghouls, and they give me pyro ghouls. Jack the pothead. <laughs> she seems pretty pissed that these ghouls like Pyro. I mean, what are you gonna do? You're the chief Pyromancer. Oh! And it looks like she's got a freaking horn on the back. Oh man, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. 
Um, kind of reconsidering. Like, I want to save Hog Rush for her if she's going to bring in other enemies. And actually, if those little pyro boys are all stuck down there, that's probably fine. In fact, we could even throw the uh, our tangle vines down there. So maybe we hog rush her. She's only got 35 health. We'll probably mind control a hunter. Throw like the hunter down down in there. Let's make sure we have this all set up correctly. Running and gunning, huh? Yeah, that's better than that. Probably better than that. And that's the only one you have. Yeah, that seems that seems doable. Medbot will have nothing to do until we ooh, until we take out the chief. Hopefully by that time we've gotten enough kills that we can party with everyone else. Okay. So here we go. We got Borman. We got him hog rushing. Ooh. I don't want to knock her. I don't want to knock her down, actually. What? Everybody get over here. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. That was that was dumb. <laughs> okay. We're good in the corner, though. I clicked the wrong button. I was trying to regroup, but I clicked the flashlight. And then I clicked F afterwards. Okay, this is fine. Chief Pyra, come back here, come back here, come back here, come back here. Don't go over there. Don't go too far over there. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're cool. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're all a bunch of cool dudes here. Okay, so when she... She goes, oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, well, we got to start the ambush. We're stuck in between two things. That's fine. We can knock her down. These pyros, maybe they'll throw some molotovs at us. It's fine. We're going to be fine. Hog rush, smack her down. So those fire boys down here are going to be annoying. It's just, it's just for sure what's going to happen. Um, we need Magnus to puppet this dude. Or do we want to puppet this dude instead? It's like he can, this guy can run and start shooting some pyro boys. I don't know. Here, run over here. Then this guy has has the flank. Yeah, we'll puppet this guy. Here you go. He's our friend. Hunter. Yeah, you can go over here. Start shooting your friend in the back. Selma. Yeah, so we'll grab both these dudes, get stuck in it. No, no, keep going, keep burning. And we'll shoot Chief Pyra. So I, I'm wondering if they're actually going to attack me. Oh, they will. Even though it hits their own guy. Borman's just soaking damage. He's like our freaking literal tank right now. These pyros are going to be annoying. So Magnus, I'm going to 
got a shot on the Pyra. I don't think there's anything else we want you to do. Hopefully we get a crit. 40% chance. Knock. Not quite. Um need you to get to somewhere that has cover. This seems fine. You're on fire, but you've been on fire. Yeah, now we're going to have to deal with all these jerks up here, which is going to be kind of annoying. Take out Chief. Injury detect. Personal injury detected. Care provider on the search vector. Stupid stalkers! Frickin' these hunters! Being a bunch of jerks. So we want to take out these hunters, but we also kind of... Frick, we kind of want to deal with the robot coming to heal. Orman, you're kind of injured. Um... The healing yourself would be good. Alright, let's see what our other... What our other allies can do. Selma, you can get a pretty good... Ooh, I kind of want... I kind of want to kill this guy who only has 10 health left. Oh yeah, 100% shot? That seems fine. Seems fine. He's got 10 health. Damn. Did not get the fire shot on him. I mean, it's fine. Because I don't want to get, like, these guys are all tangled up still, but they can throw fire at us. Well, I guess we're going to be stuck in the fire. What can you do? I hated that asshole. Heal yourself. Pyros are getting closer. They're gonna be able to hit. You hit me pretty fast. Okay, hit one of us. Hit us twice. That's fine. Personal injury detected. Capital approach vector. Need you good. Okay, only three damage. That's fine. We can heal oh Borman up later. Um. Medibot has not gotten over here yet, which is fine. Um, we have 100% chance to hit this hunter. So let's reload. Keep shooting the hunter. Selma. 75% chance. And there's no point in uh, rooting those guys. They're just gonna move around and get in our face anyway. So let's move over to here. Take out the hunter. See, Magnus, it doesn't really matter where you go. Yeah, taking control, like we could puppet one of these pyros, but then. But it's like, then what? 
all they do is throw firebombs, and oh, we're just gonna have him throw firebombs at his hunt, his friend, you know? 100% chance. What does that leave him with? It's either seven versus six. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's go with this shot. Why not? Ooh, he's not looking happy about that one. Gets out his fire. This guy also moves to a position. He gets out his fire. Medibot is getting up here to start the healing process. Borman, you know what you need to do. You need to go over here and shoot him with the gaper. Like cover, like cover doesn't matter anymore. They're just gonna throw fire at us. You freaking jerks! Um, Magnus, we can't get you to run and gun. Which would again, cover doesn't really matter. So if you run and gun to here, you can kill one of the pyros. shoot these enemies. The metabot isn't that it's not a, it's not as much of a worry as trying to take out these pyros. So if you can get a hit but you can it's good. Alright who's he gonna attack? Please tell me you're not gonna attack Selma again. Alright again Borman's fine. We'll heal him up afterwards. No time for <laughs> We're just bullying this poor Medibot. This poor, poor Medibot. He's like, ouch, this hurts me. Um, Selma. Wait, how is this setting you on fire? Oh, because you have to run through that way. Never mind. Magnus, you're still on fire. But, I mean, it should be fine. We should be able to kill this guy. No problemo. He's gotta take another turn to pull out his fireworks anyway. Injury analysis in progress. Okay, so now Medibot will come up here, try to kill the guy again. Gaper is just doing work. And Selma's just doing work. Work is getting done all the time. That went really well. Over here. Despite the fact that it Let's get some more. You know treasure out in the zone. Looks like that we were screwing up. Thanks, Selma. Good job. Grab a red eye scope. A med kit. Hells yes. There you go. Use the med pack on Borman. I kind of want to use one on our boy Magnus. We'll hold off for now. But I think we are. Okay. We're going to run around. Um, I mean, basically what we're going to do is just loot. But I want to see what the cool special loot here is. Like, I'm sure there's something cool. Right? Like, we're at the Grog area. We're at Fishmas IPA. Ooh. Man. I, I gotta go. I gotta go grab myself a drink. Like, I have to. What is this? Nobody light a match right now, okay? This is a pile of Molotov cocktails, locked and loaded. Okay. Oh, three? How many Molotovs do we have here? Dude, we can use Molotovs in basically every combat from here to like the end of days. Look how full our grenade, oh my goodness, our grenade inventory. 
The only problem is that Molotovs, like, they do good damage, but they kind of take a long time to, to work. It's like two damage initially, and then, what, two more damage each turn? Uh, do we not get any, like, special... Ooh, the Grog Milker. What is this thing? Oh, it's a freaking tap. Suggestively designed system for the rationing of grog. Play with the little bits and cool liquid is delivered to the thirsty recipient. Chronicler Hippocanthus. Okay, so it stinks like an old grog mug, but it's a nozzle? Aw, oh, I wanted to hear what the other guys would say about it. Like, oh, look at this sexy grog milker. Gotta milk me some grog. Oh man. Well, we got the Grog Milker. We're probably going to go back to the Ark next episode, trade that in so we do one more damage, and that'll be a huge upgrade for us. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed us going to Grog City, fighting some Pyros, having some pretty good, pretty good combat overall, I'd say. And yeah, until next time, do remember, as always, to take care of yourself. See ya.